What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and this is the Ultra Z News coming to you from the Ultrazilla kitchen with my pal. Where is he? <laughs> Mecha Godzilla on the fridge, finishing up my morning coffee here. And uh, there's been some news. Uh, I took uh, the day off from doing any Ultra Z news, Ultra Z news uh, reports yesterday because there's been too many of them, <laughs> and my voice needed a break. And there was a blizzard here, and I was just kind of having a snow day overall. But we have some news and some uh, really kind of urgent news for you guys that like vinyls and uh saw my review of the now sold out Pulgasori the Iron Bull blue variant that I reviewed here last week um you can check out the uh, review at on um, the link at the end of this but we got the schedule for the rest of these and uh it's coming at us a rapid fire um uh, from Mondo because I, I don't know. Uh, they just decided instead of like spacing them out, they're gonna just, you know, shoot them out all at once basically. So today at 2 p.m. EST, 1 p.m. Central, uh, which is I believe where they are, um, you're gonna be able to get the uh, burning Pulgasari. Uh, and then uh, from there, February 9th, the 16th and the 23rd for the big kind of like 30 centimeter version, I guess. I don't know exact size of that one, but we can take a look at them here. Uh, this is a pick from Designer Con from 2019. Uh, you can see them all. Again, the blue one that I have is currently sold out uh, and going for crazy money on the aftermarket. The more burning looking one goes up today. And then I don't know whether the regular green and gold or the green and purple uh, are going up next because it's they're kind of surprising you. And then the final one will be the giant one, uh, which is a completely different sculpt, pose, and paint style, more of a, a more realistic take. Even though I feel like the, the ones they did here are, you know, it's a nice dope poke the design uh, sculpted take. Um, the big one is even more detail. I, you can see the pink details are even finer uh, to give you that more realistic take. Personally, I definitely want the small uh, one, um, the small like kind of regular paint one, the green and gold, and I'm not sure about anything else. The only one I definitely don't want is personally is the green and purple. I just don't really like that color scheme. Um, the rest of them are on the table, but I don't know the price of the big one. The smaller ones, which are not that small, again, check out my review, uh, are $85 each. So there you go. Uh, for that news, 2 p.m. today, EST, uh, the burning version goes up to, I'm calling it the burning version, uh, goes up today. So uh, jump on it as soon as you can because these things sell out pretty quick. Yesterday, Marvel Legends announced another um, variant of their Hulk mold, and this is Maestro, um, and it looks pretty good, though. I do know that some folks are, you know, kind of miffed that this character didn't receive a, a unique sculpt because he is, like, a lot older and a lot more grizzled Hulk um, and, you know, would have the body texture to, to match it. But I really do like that head sculpt. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and this is 30 bucks. You could get it pretty much anywhere. Um, uh, Marvel Legends are sold. It's a more deluxe figure. Um, it does look awesome. I do like that head sculpt a lot. This is in package, nice logo, uh, and the back of the box. Next up, how about some uh, GVK merchandise that popped up this weekend? Uh, these are going to be FYE exclusives. Um, and uh, if you want some hot sauce, you're going to be able to uh, get that, as uh, well as some candy bars. And these are pretty fun. You got fiery chili chipotle dark chocolate for Godzilla and banana crunch milk chocolate for Kong. I would love to get a bar of both of these and actually eat them. Uh, and finally, we do have a uh, energy a drink. 
blue raspberry flavored energy drink there. Eh, fun stuff. FYE exclusives. So if you want that, go get it. Uh, um, next up, uh, we got the movie monster series. Uh, we got some movie monster series news and things to go over, you know, uh, that has been popping up and, you know, we got some more pics of other stuff. So let, let's start with this. This is, uh, from the Godzilla store. They have a vote up right now. Um, choose a unique, this is going to be a brand new sculpt, the next movie monster series figure uh, that they're going to be, I guess, exclusively having in their store. So you can vote from Mothra, Godzilla 62, Ibera, and uh, Mothra is 61, by the way, and Gear 68, Gorosaurus, Kidera, Godzilla 1984, 85, King Ghidorah 91, uh... Super Mecha Godzilla and Baragon 2001. Personally, I want to see Gorosaurus more than anything. I would love a Gorosaurus. Give me anything besides Godzilla's, Mothra's, King Ghidorah's, and Mecha Godzilla, and I'm pretty much fine. But you can go vote for whichever one you want to see. And then, of course, if you want to get it from the Godzilla store, you're going to have to use a proxy service to uh, get it like a middleman or something. I recommend Zen Market. Um, but that's just me. Next up, we got some uh, new shots of Shin Ultraman, a really, really up-close shot of the movie monster series Shin Ultraman. Um, looking pretty decent. I mean, the closer you zoom in like this, of course, you're going to see the little <laughs> imperfections and, uh, like, the paint and stuff. But it looks pretty good overall. Here's a shot of the back where you can see there's no dorsal fins. Shot of the front. And uh, this one we've seen before. but Overall, I think these new shots look pretty good. Um, here's another new shot, nice angle. Now, the Movie Monster series Shin Ultraman stuff, as well as the Ultra Action figure, apparently go straight up on sale February 6th. So do check all your favorite Japanese retailers to see uh, what the availability is going to be like for these things. But they're boasting, like, right, you know away uh sales on these and not pre-orders so check check it out february 6th and uh hopefully uh, we'll all be able to get our shin ultraman figures now a uh, real quick note the sh figure arts uh shin ultraman went on sale overnight uh on the japanese sites looks like it's pretty much sold out everywhere so if you didn't hop aboard on that sorry i couldn't record one of these last night couldn't really do an alert for it um, you know, make sure to, uh, see if they're, you know, if Bluefin is bringing it over, but with all the buzz this movie is getting, I would think so. And they do usually bring over the SHF Ultraman. So be on the lookout for the U S pre-orders to open up for that. More movie monster series stuff, um, that I wanted to talk about, but this is really, you know, just a lead in point to talk about Godzilla's singular point because the teaser went up the second teaser went up last night a little bit of a shorter one uh and it looked pretty good please note that if you didn't know there will be movie monster series Godzilla's singular point figures and I will uh show them as soon as um they start showing them off I think that's going to happen pretty soon they already have the section like made on the Bandai Movie Monster Series site, as you can see right here, coming soon, Godzilla Singular Point. Uh, you know, this particular teaser trailer really just focused on two of the monsters, and that was Rodan, and you heard the signature Rodan roar, and that was pretty cool. I do like that. I still don't really like that design, but the one design I really do like is Jet Jaguar. It looks super cool to me, very, like, like almost Iron Giant, kind of steampunk-ish. Uh, and he's ready to fight there. He's got, you know, there's somebody facing off with him right there. And that is awesome. So I'm really excited about that. You know, I'm not going to show the trailer here. I don't really do that. So, um, but you can go check it out. My thoughts is you're going to see those two probably within the first few figures of uh, the singular points up because they made it a point to show those two in the trailer. And I feel like there's a lot of coordination between Bandai and uh, the movies a lot of times, as you can see with the Shin 
Ultraman stuff. So um, they're very, very good with that. So I think there's something to Jet Jaguar and Rodan being the focus of this particular trailer. So be on the lookout. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is, um, and this is a not great picks, uh, didn't get as much fanfare as the uh, single point trailer, but another uh, kind of teaser trailer, you know, popped up yesterday on the Netflix site, and that is for uh, the Pacific Rim, the Black series that's coming March 4th. It drops March 4th on Netflix. So uh, we got a shot of a sort of a shot of a kaiju and then of uh, the Jaeger facing a kaiju. But it, it's all like flashing in between some other stuff, voiceovers and things that are going on in the trailer. And you see the, the pilots of the Jaeger um, suiting up and getting ready. And that looks pretty cool. I'm sure we're going to get figures of this from somebody, right? Like, uh, I hope. I mean, that would be a shame if we didn't get more Pacific Rim figures from somebody. You know, like, I hope somebody does it because I really want them. And there you go. That is the news for now. Some really cool stuff. I do like this Jet Jaguar. Rodan, not so much. Be on the lookout for movie monster series. Again, Shin Ultraman. Uh, figures do drop on February 6th. Check your favorite Japanese retailer for that. Go vote for the Movie Monster Series next figure in the Godzilla store, which will happen in, uh, and this is for the five-year anniversary of the Godzilla store, by the way. Uh, on uh, November 3rd, 2021 is when that figure will go on sale, so go vote now. Get yourself some God GVK merch. Maestro is up for pre-order right now, and the Polgasari next figure goes up at 2 p.m. today, so do go check that out. Thanks for watching this Ultra Z News. Till next time. Oh, do I have any coffee left? Peace out, peeps.